Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. Now that we have created an Azure Data Lake Analytics account, let's go and explore the Analytics account. So as I already said, it is a job as a service or rather I should say it's an on-demand job as a service as uh, against cluster as a service which is uh, HD Insight and it can handle jobs of any scale. For example, when you submit your job, you say what are the number of analytic units that you need to specify for the job and probably you can within the Azure portal you can give as much as 250 analytic units for any job and if you need more analytic units then you just need to contact Microsoft support and they will be happy to do that for you. And you only pay when the job is running. For example, a job goes through several stages and preparing phase, running phase and so on. But you will never pay in any of those stages. You will only pay when it's actually running, when you are actually consuming the resources. And I said already, you need not worry about the infrastructure at all. You just need to worry about the code. You just need to worry about the underlying data. You need to worry about how to paralyze the job, how to optimize the job and nothing else. And it works really well with Data Lake Store. And for the best performance, it is suggested that you use Data Lake Store as against Azure Block Storage or anything else. because. Data Lake Store is optimized for analytics, doing analytics. And now we will try to explore the Data Lake Analytics in Azure portal. So in your resource group, you see that both your Data Lake Analytics and Data Lake Store is created. And let's go into Data Lake Analytics. And within the Data Lake Analytics, you can go and create a new job by clicking on this plus new job. And if you want to get started with some sample scripts, you can go into here. So sample scripts are available for you to directly execute and you require no knowledge of USQL. And if you go into Data Explorer, which is the most important part, you note that there is a storage account, which is Azure Data Lake Store that we created is directly associated to this particular Data Lake Analytics account. So everything that you need to store within your data lake store goes into here. So what you do is you basically create a folder under the root and directly store files over there. And these two folders are not really useful and they are used for most advanced tasks. And you have one thing called as USQL catalog. So that USQL catalog you get with basically every data lake analytics account. And if you see the USQL catalog, it just looks like a normal SQL database. So you have a master database and you have several of the objects that you would see in a normal SQL server like tables, views, table valid functions, procedures and so on. So in the future, what we will do is we will create additional databases, our user created databases, and we can store both our data and code within this particular database. So let me close that. And if you need to view all the jobs, you can go into view all jobs. And if you need to delete the account, you can just go and delete it. If you need to give some service principle and access to access this particular data lake analytics account, you can go into access uh, control or identity and access management it's called and just go and add the user and you can specify a uh, certain role. Uh, these are called RBAC roles or uh, role based access controls. You can specify the role that's uh, that's required and you can also assign the scope at what particular scope uh, that particular uh, resource will access to. So let me close this and if you go into data sources you will see the list of data sources that are attached to this particular data lake analytics account and right now only one data lake store account is associated and that is the default store account. If you would want you can go and add additional data lake store accounts or you can also add um, blob storage accounts. So if you just click on the storage type, you will see the two kinds of storage that you can associate to this particular data lake analytics account. 
So others are just normal stuff that you would see with each uh, Azure uh, service and I'm not gonna go really into that much detail. Thank you.